Uh, just, I move to strike the last word. The gentle lady is recognized for five minutes. I thank you, Madam uh, Chairwoman, and I also want to start by thanking Congressman Al Green for his tireless work on this legislation. This has been three years, sir, in the, uh, in the making. Let me just say, when natural disasters strike, the federal government plays a critical role in delivering emergency aid. Taxpayer dollars spent on disaster relief must be allocated wisely and efficiently. Every disaster relief dollar is diverted to uh, uh, dollar diverted to an ineffective or wasteful use is a dollar that is not going to help people in need. Last Congress, the Financial Services Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigation, which I at that point had the, the honor of chairing, began a bipartisan effort to improve the Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recover Program. Today's legislation is a product of that work. The Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Program helps communities start the recovery process and assist neighborhoods with limited resources in rebuilding critical infrastructure after a catastrophic event. According to numerous IG reports and a hearing that the O&I subcommittee held in March, and, and, and actually we had several in the 115th Congress also, uh, major issues have been identified with the CDBG-DR program. Slow disbursement of disaster funding, delays in funding for low and moderate income citizens, and potential duplication of benefits are some of the identified difficulties. While FEMA and other government agencies often provide immediate resources to victims of disasters, it is HUD that often distributes the most aid through the CDBG-DR program. Although HUD has become a primary provider of the disaster assistance, this program is not codified in statute. HUD uses more than 60 federal register notices to issue clarifying guidance, waivers, and alternative requirements to oversee at least 113 active disaster recovery grants, which total, are you ready for this, total more than $47 billion as of last year. Codifying the Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Program would provide a framework for future disasters, reduce the over-reliance on Federal Register notices for each disaster, and speed delivery of assistance for disaster to grantees and disaster victims. The CDBG-DR program must be codified and reformed to increase oversight and accountability and ensure disaster relief dollars go directi directly and, I must say, expeditiously to those who need them the most. Codification provides proper controls that protect against waste, fraud, and abuse. Secretary Carson understands these problems and the need to address them. And in his testimony before the full committee on May 21st, Secretary Carson noted that, and I quote, codifying the program would help ensure communities receive disaster aid more quickly and streamline the coordination between FEMA and HUD. Along with the codification, this bill would require HUD to allocate funds within 60 days of enactment of an appropriation by Congress and to provide predictable requirements for grantees. It also creates a pre-certification process for grantees to ensure that they can make use of their allocations sooner and finally establishes a procedure to recapture unused funds going forward. According to HUD's OIG, $11.5 billion worth of CDBG DR funds appropriated for disasters going all the way back to 9-11 remain unspent. We must do a better job recouping billions of dollars of the taxpayers' money in unspent monies for future disasters. Before I conclude, I want to just take another moment again and thank the gentleman from Texas. Mr. Green, who has been a great partner in this endeavor, I appreciate his willingness to make sure disaster relief is being spent in the most vul uh, vulnerable, for the most vulnerable victims of natural disasters. It's about time that Congress makes this disaster relief program permanent with accountability to the people that we serve. With that, Madam Chairwoman, I yield back the remainder of my time.